Why am I doing this? Well, because I can. We are gonna be installing Office 95 on Windows 11, which you might think, oh, that's crazy, you can't do that. Well, I remember installing Office 2000 on one of these newer operating systems, and it worked, it ran just fine. We're gonna try it with Office 95 here, I have the ISO image for Office 95 mounted, as you can see, Office 95 Professional Edition. So now we are just going to click setup.exe, I think. Let's see if it works. Will this give me any compatibility issues? No! Nice! So it looks like it's it's going to install just fine. Uh, farts. And what should I make my organization? How about I don't care? How about that? <laughs> oh no, I need the CD key. Can I do can I do just like all zeros? No way! That works! <laughs> Great security, huh? How about we install everything? Cause why not? <laughs> Space available. I'm British or Aussie mate. Well, actually, not really. I'm just, I'm an American, so. I don't know, maybe I should try, like, Office. Maybe, maybe I should try installing the very first version of Office onto here. <laughs> that would be great. An error has occurred at changing workgroup database. Okay, whatever that is. At least, at least it's not, oh, oh, come on, don't crap, okay. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. They had us. No, don't open. Go away. Don't allow and go away. Go away. Let's see if I can find them here. Oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> All right, so I guess first we can start out with Microsoft Word, because why not? Oh my God, dude. First of all, the scaling here. <laughs> the scaling is just terrible. Like, look at these, look at these buttons here. Look at that, that looks, oh, uh, yeah, you can tell just how old this program is. How about, hello, everybody. Welcome to my, to my nonsensical VM video. We'll control it. Let's see what this saves it as. MS-DOS. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's old. If it if it has that as an option, man. Yeah, let's save this into our desktop and let's see if it opens. Yep, there we go, nice. All right, so next up is PowerPoint. So at, le at least it's doing, at least it's doing something. Tacos, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> Just to prove to you guys we have it in here. Isn't there like a thing? I guess they didn't really have a thing yet. Like on the side, because I'm so used to that in Office where like on the left side, it shows you like all your slides. But I guess in this ye olden days of Office 95, you kind of have to you have to go down here and click this tiny little button and it shows you all these slides. Let's see, my vision statement. Tacos taste, tastes, tacos tastes amazing. There we go. Especially beans though. <laughs> but not deviled eggs though. I don't, I don't, see, I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, next up on the chopping block is Microsoft Excel. It's Excel, all right. <laughs> this is what's cool about Excel, at least to me, is that because it's so basic, you know? I mean, there might be a couple of things here and there, sure, sure like eye candy, this and that, but, but like this, yeah, this has not changed ever since. I not remember how to make charts. It's been so long since I've made a chart in Excel. <laughs> so, I guess we could do like a 3D pie. Actually, you know what? Let's make this even cooler. Let's do 3D surface. 
Sweet, that did absolutely nothing. As you can tell, I'm not, I'm definitely not the best when it comes to Excel. All right, so Microsoft Access. What? Wait, this isn't right. There isn't enough memory to complete the OEL automation. Uh, we have like 16 gigs in this virtual machine. What are you talking about? <laughs> As you can see, we have a whopping 16 gigs of memory here. So I don't know what this program's talking about. Oh, it doesn't have enough memory. What, do you want me to have like 64 gigs in this virtual machine now? That program's a no-no. Microsoft Binder? Oh, is this like you add like different files from the different programs and you make like your own, I wouldn't say collage, you get my point. Something else too. Microsoft Schedule Plus, what's this? I want to create, I want to create a new schedule file. Oh, I'm an idiot. You know what this is? It's literally just, it's just a schedule. You know how like on a smartphone now, you could, or like on Google, you can add a, like a date or a time for like a doctor's appointment. You know, pretty much every smart device has this nowadays, but yeah, no, this was when, yeah, this was pretty much kind of a novelty. Um, Office 97 here, it doesn't look like, I actually want to see if I can access where, I think it was Excel 97, it had this Easter egg. Oh, here we go. And then it looks like we have to type in X97 to L97. Click the ch and then it looks like we click the chart icon. Where is it? Wait, hang on. Let me try this. Let me try this again. So yeah. So X97 L97. So then we hit tab, hold, control, shift. And then click the chart. Okay. Why isn't this working? X97. Hit enter. Tab once. Yeah, no, it's not working for me for some reason. So well, that's how you activate the flight simulator Easter egg in Excel 97. It's actually, it's actually one of my favorite, like, let's like one of my favorite software Easter eggs. I don't know why. It just looks really cool. You no, know, I'm guessing that's for. I'm guessing the sounds are for either like Clippy or something of the sort. Yeah, because there's even like whoosh in the in the explosion and the glad. Yeah, these all these all look like they're like Clippy sound effects. I remember when a lot of these older programs had um, n you know, they had readmes. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little mini video. Yeah, I just kind of had this idea in my head just pop up when I was at work today and I was like, you know what? Why, you know what? Screw it, why not? Let's try installing an old version of Office, like Office 95 here, into Windows 11. And hey, you know what? It works. Yeah, would I use this for every day? No, <laughs> but I, I mean, hey, you know what? You know, this is just so basic, all these programs. Now, am I saying that's a bad thing? No, but compared to version of Office we got now, yeah, this doesn't even come close. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like the video, you know, make sure you give it a like, you know, subscribe if you wanna see more upcoming stuff. Like if you wanna get notifications for my upcoming videos, comment like what you thought about the video or like questions, comments, wh wh whatever the case, but, Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Until next time, peace.